ass again, Bradley. Oh. No, man, we don't need to. Look at him. Oh. He's finished, man. He's a bitch. Oh. 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 Raven, Raven got the DDT. Raven with a DDT there, hooks him three. Wait, wait a minute, Steve Bradley. Hold on, Lance what Cade. is this? Cade going around the ring to go. He just hopped on Hugh Morris's back. Now what is this all about? Steve what? Bradley, smash mouth on Raven. Oh, this is ridiculous. Bradley and Cade, these two thugs. These two marauders. Oh, now wait a minute. What? what? Kate is Kate is taking his belt off. Bradley's got his belt off as well. Father. Raven and Morris are the winners of this match, but unofficially it looks like Kate and Bradley oh. have opened the new match and they're using belts. Well, now Bradley with that belt around his fist just blasted Raven and now he's whipping him. Uh, over the top and here goes with him. Bradley catches Raven. What's he going for? The smash match. Oh! Smash mouth there. Bradley quickly covers. Two, three. Oh, he got him. Wow. Hugh Morris was coming in. While we're back, and after the video package of these two guys devastating everybody, here they are the HWA Tag Team Champions, Steve Bradley and Lance Cade. You know, Lance, there's a little rumor going around the back that the Island Boys won't be able to wrestle us tonight for the tag team titles because of a, a little accident. But I am here to say that the rumors are not true. The Island Boys are here. And let me what? bring them out. Here are Tickle Me Elmo, Keem Bro, the Long Island Boys. The Long Island Boys? The Long Island Boys, and who are the Long Island Boys? <laughs> This is the long, wait a minute, wait, they, they aren't Look on camera. Look at these guys, they're what? huge, Les. What? The Long Island Boys, these aren't even the Short Island Boys. This, it, it talk about a travesty or a mockery, man, uh, whatever. Let's go to Haas for the introduction. Oh! Well, there is no introduction. Bradley and, I don't know who the, Man, oh man, these aren't the Island Boys. These guys are about five or six hundred pounds shy of no, being... No, the Long Island Boys. The, the Long Island Boys, yeah, okay. Okay. Well, this Long Island Boy would be in double team, uh, reverse oh. atomic drop, a boot by Lance Cade. And uh, I'd say instead of the Long Island Boys or the Island Boys, they're more like the Whipping Boys. I can't believe Steve Bradley got that big man down. Uh, okay. Uh, that takes a lot of strength. I, my eyes are bad, Brock. What are you talking? Oh. Uh, okay. I can barely. <laughs> While wow, this barely see travesty Steve of professional wrestling is going on, I want to remind you, the HWB returns to Wednesday night in Dayton's Montgomery County Fairgrounds Coliseum, April the 10th, with a SuperCard bell time 7:30. With a special appearance by WWF superstar Chris Benoit for a photo session beginning at 6:30 p.m. Advanced tickets at Grips and Tips, Central Avenue in West Carroll. Lance Cage shoots the tallest island boy. I don't even know if these guys have names, or at least not any island names. Yeah, they, there's big, I think, there, and they're bigger over there. B which one is bigger? I don't know. I don't know. I don't have their bios, but... Big and bigger. I can't believe... Look at that. Lance Cade is being able to just totally dissect this if monster. If they already hadn't done a, a movie about Dumb and Dumber, I think that would... Uh, again... Okay, Caden Bradley have laid out Sanders. Caden Bradley have, man. Oh, look at that! God. You know, if you how they get them up that high? Both of these guys together don't weigh as much as Ekmo, and Ekmo's the smaller of the two Island Boys. How can you say that? Smash mouth by how can I say it? Because it's true. Smash mouth by Steve Bradley, and he gets oh. a three count on. The, the taller of the two Long Island boys, man. You, know, I mean, you need to stop looking at the monitor because the monitor makes them look like ten pounds lighter. Those that, guys uh, are huge. Oh, okay. Look, yeah, Steve Bradley. Right. I, I'm impressed by by Bradley and Kate. All right. Now they're going to start. Here we go with belts and chaps. They're whipping these two guys, man. I, you know, whoa. The real and Island boys and oh, Mike Sanders hit the ring. 
And these guys are big, and they are for real. That is OG Ekbo and Kimo, along with Mike Sanders. All three of these guys have been abused by the current HWA Tag Team Champions, who are now staying outside the ring and well out of harm's way. They were the winners over these bogus uh, Long Island boys, whoever. But right now, they can have all they want of these three guys, and they don't want any. Well, I mean, like, look at that. After Cade and Bradley have a match, then they want to come out and challenge yeah. them. That's real big of them, last night. It is real big of them, isn't it? All right, there you have it. Your winners uh, by, I don't know, by it is it is see, I think, more than by winning. Bradley and Cade over the Long Island boys, and you see the real Island boys, and... Uh, Wait a minute, let's oh, stick this. with this. Look, a little admiration going about? on huh? here. Is this a... a Whoops! Okay. To add insult to injury, and I don't... Uh, <laughs> oh, he's making fun. That's admiration. Don't do yeah, that to him. Yeah, he's making fun. Oh, I don't think so. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay, and Eki throws him around like he's a 50-pound bag of potatoes. Look at here, and there's Kimo with his drive, some, and I think that should get us right out of the segment, and when we come back, I'll be hanging with Maven. <laughs> 